Hey, it's Stolen Cousins. You already know what time it is. And I made it horror stories. And I made it horror stories. Doom, doom, doom. But boom, boom, boom. Da -dum, doom, doom, doom. I still have a cold, but it's okay. <clears throat> it's slowly but surely going away. Y'all see where we y'all see where we at. We're at our stolen cousins. I am our scary tales house. You know we love it over here. It be getting crazy. Sometimes they throw in a, you know, little crazy twist in there. Majority of the times. As I always say, feel free to go over there and enjoy the videos over there. You don't have to watch everything with me, but be sure to come back so you can watch some things with me. All right. Let's get into it. It's three true airport horror stories animated. We know they're going to be cutting up. I think the last one that we've seen was kind of crazy because some guy tried to uh, attack some woman all inside the airport. For what? For no reason. Oh, look at my foot toe. I found a damn strawberry shortcake. Stop it. Okay. Let's continue. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but it was like a little short midget guy. Um, pretending to be, you know, someone's son and attack someone in the bathroom. So, yeah. I'll probably try to tag that at the end. But let's get into it. Y'all already know. Please go grab a blunt, grab a bottle of water, grab a bag of chips, and grab a blanket so you can stay stuck. All right. You're welcome. I try not to pass you to move y'all through the screen. I was flying solo to see family for Easter one year okay. when I had one of the worst encounters with a creep I've ever experienced. Mm. I first saw him during my layover. It was in the middle of the night because I opted for a red eye flight with a three hour layover in a small airport to save money. Okay. It was the first time I'd been there. The whole place was eerily empty and quiet due to the time and flight restrictions back then. I was hoping to catch some Z's while I waited for my next flight. I thought it would be easy. The only people sitting near me were a younger couple cuddling to my left and a man laying down to my right, who was minding his business perfectly and not bothering me at all. However, right as I was dozing off, I sensed an approaching presence and my eyes flicked open to see a guy creeping towards me clearly trying not to be noticed. I froze with my eyes open Ew. and stared as he continued totally unfazed. Getting caught actually made him smile. His teeth were jagged and covered in thick, nasty plaque, no. and he had a huge broken nose with boils on the nostrils. The rest of his face was riddled with acne, too. His hair was unkempt and greasy to match, and altogether, it looked like he just got out of high school after graduating on the fifth try. Before long, he was far too close for comfort. Stop! What are you doing? Oh, you startled me! Don't yell at me like that! How did I, I startled startle you? Exactly. You're the one coming up on me like you're trying to steal my bag. <gasps> I would never! You don't really think I'd be that type of guy to do that, do you? I was so floored by how ridiculous he was that I couldn't think of anything to say. He used the pause as an opportunity to sit right next to me. Excuse me? Did I say you could sit next to me? Don't be such a Karen. Well, actually, you look more like a Stacy in those pajama pants. Don't Ew. look at my pants. I don't want to talk to you. I'm trying to sleep. I just wanted to ask if you were also going to Boston. But it's a silly question, isn't it? Why else would you be waiting for the plane to Boston? <laughs> Leave me alone already before I pepper spray you, you creep. <laughs> you don't have any pepper spray. The TSA confiscated it. Remember? You're unarmed, sugar. Suddenly, the blood drained from my face. How did he know that? I kept thinking. He must have been behind me in the security line at the last airport, which meant he'd been following me and watching me the whole time. Right about then is when I reached over and shook the man sleeping next to me until he woke up. Are you threatening me? Huh? What's going on? Babe, this man is making me uncomfortable. What? Who? Come on, man. Who do you think you are? That's my wife you're talking to. 
Get out of here before we have a problem, you greasy loser. Thankfully, the creep didn't talk back and walked away pouting. I'd never spoken to that other guy in my life. But I'm glad he was quick to see what was going glad on and love helped a good me guy. out. I thanked him profusely for pretending to be my husband for a moment. Then I let him go back to sleep. I was not able to relax after that, however. Oh, the whole time, I could see that ugly jerk staring at me from the next gate over. I hoped that he wasn't about to get on the same flight as me. But despite my he prayers, when they called us to board, he got in line behind me. Like I breathed a face. sigh of relief That's when good. it turned out he booked a ticket for a seat 10 rows in front of mine. Otherwise, I would have been stuck with him breathing down my neck for the entire flight. It was about 3 in the morning when we finally took off, and I was exhausted. A few minutes into the air and I finally got comfortable enough to fall asleep. I ended up being out for the entire flight. I woke up a few minutes before landing to the sound of the flight attendants chattering about refreshments and flight procedures. But to my utter terror, Ew, when I, I opened it. my eyes, I saw that same creep staring directly at me just inches from my face. I jumped up and gasped. Oh, what's wrong with you? How long have you been sitting there? Not long, just a couple of hours. You mean the entire flight? Why can't you get away from me? I immediately reached up to press the button to call the flight attendant, but he grabbed my wrist and held my hand back. You alive? I fell in love with you the moment I saw you. Whatever you need, please let me get it for you. Clearly get that help. husband of yours is no good. I took great pleasure in slapping him across the face. I need you to leave! Unfortunately, the sicko seemed to enjoy that a little more than I expected. <sighs> So you really do have some Boston in you. That's good. Uh -huh. I'll show you my favorite bar once we land. I can drive us there so you don't have to call a ride. Luckily, a flight attendant finally showed up in response to my shouting. Excuse me, is everything all right here? No. Yes, yes, everything is fine. Please go away. This man is assaulting me. Tell him to go back to his seat or I don't care what you do. Just get him away from me, sir. I will have to ask you to return to your seat. It was up in the third row, wasn't it? Oh, well, I guess you're right. Exactly. That's my How wife, by the way. The He's lying. Please, you have to listen to me. I told the flight attendant everything, and thankfully, she took serious interest. And Casey followed me off the plane. She called airport security and requested a guard to escort me until I left the airport. I thanked her a thousand times. But I still couldn't rest until my brother picked me up and got me out of there. Good shit. Good afternoon, bad. passengers. Oh. This is your captain speaking. First, I'd like to welcome everyone on. Would you like some wine, sir? Sure. Hit me. Is everything comfortable, sir? Well, Stop I was late. thinking if you had any other seat... Today's your lucky day, sir. We just got an upgrade on that row. If you want... I'll take anything. Please, follow me. <coughs> What'd you ask for? <coughs> eh, not that good either. Sorry, sir. This is what we have. <sighs> Fine. Dead. Um, ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Ah! Why what? would you? Where? Who? Good lord! Oh, Are you trying to kill no. this poor, beautiful lady? That wasn't my intention. All I want is to Why sit down on my feeling? seat. Do you have no regard for people's feelings? I guess women these days are so cheap that men have stopped respecting them. <sighs> Enough! Just move away so I can sit! Why don't they ask the other person if they have, you know, if they want people to sit with them? Like, if she was sitting by herself and there's an extra seat, that flight attendant should have asked this woman, hey, would you be comfortable with someone else sitting here? Because now this man's over here yelling at her, scaring her, and then yelling at her again. Like, fuck out of here. I don't want you to sit here. I don't. Go back to the fat, sloppy man that you were sitting next to and let him smother you. The men have stopped respecting them. You don't have to uh, Enough! Them, Just move away so I can sit! What the hell? 
Did I scare you? Just stay the heck away from me, okay? You don't want to mess with me. My inner voices told me to tell you. You had beautiful eyes. What? Yes, you'll make a beautiful corpse. <laughs> sir? Sir? Are you okay? Do you feel sick? Do you need a doctor? Where... Where did that lady go? Which lady, sir? <laughs> sir? Sir? Are you okay? Do you feel sick? Do you need a doctor? He's where, yelling at nobody? Where did that lady go? Which lady, sir? The one who was sitting here when you changed my seat. Um, I'm sorry, but you must have been mistaken. You were sitting here from the very beginning, sir. This is your seat. Oh. What the? This is my seat. Did I just dream it all? Sir, if you need a doctor, we can... No, no, I I'm fine. How long till landing? Not much longer, sir. Just press the bell if you need anything. Cool. I'll meet you all at your place then. Don't tell others. I want a surprise. Uh, Wait, is this even real? No. Am I still dreaming? Okay, definitely not a dream. Oh, what I say? Good twist. Why is she staring like that? Because Where do you want to go? Huh? Your address. Do you want this cab? Yes, yes. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I lived here with my parents until I left for college. <laughs> the city hasn't changed a bit. Maybe, but it isn't safe anymore like it used to be. What? Why do you say that? Nothing. Just some rumors going around. I'm not even sure if they're true. What rumor? The one about the dancing lady. Uh -oh. Sorry, what? We shouldn't be talking about her at night. Why? Who is she anyway? She pop out at night, obviously. Some people have seen her uh -oh, on the street yeah. at night. Stop she would car. dance facing her back. Her hands will be dangling in the air and she'll move on her toes from one side to the other. No one has seen her face because when she chased them, all they did was run. What bull crap. Just mm. drive. I have to be somewhere. Here you go. Thanks. Uh, this city will never change. Neither will its people. Stupid morons. Dancing lady my foot. Look at that. What the? A Why is she lady. dancing like that? She about to chase your stupid ass. Is this all happening or am I just losing my mind? Oh. She was right there, right? What's happening to me? Why are you not running? <laughs> are you looking for me? No. Oh, ah! okay. The story you just saw is loosely based on the trending rumors going around the internet about the Serbian dancing lady. One TikToker uploaded the first footage of his encounter with the creepy lady at night. The guy was walking with his mother when they saw a distant figure dancing in a weird fashion. When the lady noticed their presence, she charged towards them, shouting profanities and claiming to be the ambassador of death. The TikToker claims that the lady shouted that his mother's life was needed for an ancient ritual to resurrect the king of Serbia. The figure's oh, no. movement, he said, did not seem like that of a human, but was so entrancing as if moving every muscle in her body. So, do you think the Serbian dancing lady is some urban legend, or a real creep lurking in the deserted streets in the middle of the night? A girl that no one's... It happened two before. years ago. I went on a business trip to a country in the Middle East. I stayed at a prestigious hotel for four days during my time there. When I was finally ready to head back to the US, I booked a flight with the 6 p.m. departure time. That evening, I remember checking out of the hotel. I walked out of the hotel with my luggage in one hand and my cell phone in the other. I was on a call with my boss while I waited for a cab to take me to the airport. 
I didn't have to wait for long though. In a matter of minutes, no. a dingy cab rolled by. Its tires no. were shot, its windshield was cracked, and a trail of black smoke sputtered from its exhaust pipe. Why would you get in there? The cab driver didn't look any better. No. He was a short man with a pale puffy face and bulging eye bags. A deep scar ran across his speckled face, and three of the fingers on his left hand were missing. Under normal circumstances, uh, I wouldn't have gotten into the cab, even at gunpoint, but I was so distracted by my call, I hardly noticed it until it was too late. Take me to the airport. I said to him as I sat in the back seat. We will arrive at the airport in five minutes. The man grunted. While yammering over the phone, I carelessly placed my passport on the armrest. Secretly, the cab driver pilfered it and slipped it into his pocket. We are here, he said as we arrived at the airport. Without saying another word, I flung him a $10 bill and made my way towards the airport entrance. Have a nice flight. He cut me a worrying smile as I walked off. When I entered the airport, I briskly went to the checking area, but when the airport staff requested my passport, I didn't have it. I turned my luggage inside out and almost stripped to my boxer shorts, searching for it, but it was nowhere to be found. Gosh darn it, where did I drop that thing? I raced outside and checked for the cab that brought me, but it was long gone. The plane was boarding, and I still hadn't checked in yet. I felt like I was losing my mind. You don't understand, I have to be on that flight. I begged and pleaded, but it was no use. The plane left without me. The only way to fix the problem was to go to the American Embassy, and it was already 8 p.m. Even at that, a new passport would take weeks to prepare. Embarrassed and exhausted, I left the airport and went outside to hail another taxi. Then, lo and behold, the cab from earlier was right there, waiting for me. My friend, what happened? You did not travel again? Boy, asked, you know what the fuck pretending happened. Pretending to care. No, it's silly, but I lost my passport. Did you happen to see it in your cab? I'm so sorry, my friend, but I did not. What will you do now? <sighs> I don't know. Guess I'll return to the hotel and then apply for a new one tomorrow. Good idea. I tell you what, I pity you. I drive you back to the hotel free of charge. Uh -uh. What do you say? I'm not sure why. No. But his offer made me even more unsettled than I already was. But it was already late. It's a bad feeling. And I was so tired. So I figured, what the heck? I joined him in the cab. Hey, God, screaming, and we you began our you trip know. to the hotel. Go, go, go. Only we weren't heading towards the hotel, but a whole other direction entirely. To a place I've never been before. The cab driver drove us to the slums. It was a rough neighborhood with filthy Andy streets, decrepit houses and street urchins. Hey, what's the big idea? Where the hell are you taking me? Don't worry, my friend. I know someone that can help you make a new passport. He's very fast. By tomorrow, you'll be ready to travel back to your country. Something yeah, smelt really fishy. I knew it in my gut, but the thought of getting back home as quickly as possible sounded too good to ignore. I sat back and let him drive to a dark and mysterious compound. At the center of the compound was a creepy shed cobbled together with wood and corrugated zinc. The car stopped, and the driver got out. Wait right here. I will be right back. He walked into the shed. I sat there alone in the car, anxiously waiting for the man to come back out. Suddenly, I noticed something sticking out of the glove compartment. The passport! It was a blue booklet that looked suspiciously like an American passport. I was a little skittish about rummaging through his stuff. But just I just had it. to know what it was. I opened the glove compartment and, to my shock, it was my passport. It had my name, picture, uh -huh. the whole caboodle. What the heck is going on? Suddenly, the cab driver walked out of the shed with two mean looking men behind him. Oh. Each of them was carrying a weapon. The man had a long me? pipe wrench in his hand. Oh God! Leaving my bag and phone behind, I immediately launched out of the car and made a run for it. He is escaping! After him! Mm -hmm. The three men got into the car and raced after me. They caught up to me in seconds. They oh rammed my. the car into me, knocking me to the ground. Oh. I was concussed and bleeding, but they didn't stop there. 
They got down and rained kicks and blows on me from every direction. Then they popped the trunk open and tried to stuff me into it. I knew if they took me, my life would be over. So I screamed for help. Help! Someone please help me! I cried at the top of my voice. Luckily, a group of people nearby heard my voice, and a crowd started gathering. Rats! More people are coming! They dumped my body on the road and quickly drove off. I lost my bags, my phone, and my wallet. All I had left was my passport, which I clutched tightly in my hand. The next day, I reported the incident to the police, and despite all the evidence I gave them, they were not able to locate the cab driver. In the end, I'm just glad I got back home safe and sound. I haven't been brave enough to travel since then, and something tells me I probably never will. What? I wouldn't be able to travel after that either. Something like that happens to me, I would not be able to travel. That is crazy. Stole your passport. Hit you with a car. Beat your ass. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And was about to kidnap you? Mm mm. I would never travel again. Ever again. That's crazy. And I was just about to say, I think the second one might have been my favorite. But, like, is it? Because that third one was wild. I'll have them both be my favorite. How about that? Oh, and the first one. All three of them will be my favorite. Because that guy at the beginning, like, why is you stalking this woman like this? She already pretended to have a husband to get away from you, and here you are again, like, still playing in somebody's face? No, that's not needed, and that's unnecessary. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments, okay? Let's do a chat. And, yeah. Like I said, I like... I'll put them in order. I'll do, hmm. Ooh. I'll say, I'll say three, two, one. That's my order. Let me know your order in the comments. And until next time, you guys, uh, bye.